car was produced in greater numbers than by than any other British combat aircraft. High altitude fighter, initially as an anti-aircraft cooperation squadron, then was sold to South African Air Force, given and then eventually stored until 1954. Eventually brought to Australia in 1976 and brought to display stand. aircraft is the fire Romeo Romeo 232, highly made it back to Britain in 1986, it was purchased by Charles Church. Sold it on after again restoration, restoration uh, to the current owner, Martin Phillips, before the aircraft started a full earnest and thorough restoration to airworthy condition that took over 13 years. really was a testament to Martin Phillips's dogged determination to return this iconic aircraft to the sky. Living memorial to the United States Air Force and 8th Air Force, allied men that gave the ultimate sacrifice, 79,000 people, ladies and gentlemen, Sally B. Sally B, as she's affectionately known to her friends, supporters, and to air shows over the last 42 years. A testament to the incredible support, supporters club, and voluntary donations. No government support, no organization, no official Ministry of Defense, or indeed the United States Air Force, are keeping the aircraft. This aircraft is flying entirely by love, dedication, and donations. But out to our left hand side there, beautiful platform, that 100 foot wingspan, and those beautiful four engines powering the aircraft at some nearly 290 miles an hour. A beautiful graceful turn here. And as she turns, she'll be able to see a beautiful underside shot of the Bombay. over the Maddingley Literary Cemetery near Cambridge where a lot of the United States Airmen are buried and some 79,000 Airmen gave their lives the ultimate sacrifice in World War II. Above all, she flies in honour and remembrance of all Allied Airmen and of all those that made the ultimate sacrifice.
Now this aircraft, original serial number 448574, was built in Burma. So, but uh, essentially we're going to see uh, two uh, bombers here, the beautiful, delightful Sunny B, uh, representing the US uh, crews, of course, and then coming up fast behind now for two, we hope, maybe three fly paths joined with the left. Lenham, the fastest light bomber of, uh, of its day, faster even than some of the fighter aircraft of its time, and became the backbone of the light bomber force. You've heard all about the history, of course, of the B-17 itself, and the tremendous and daring missions that uh, those airmen went on, and the bravery and courage. But now, as Sunny B departs uh, to the east, the sky is now taken by the mighty a delightful Blenheim, a truly unique British aircraft. Uh, the history of uh, this aircraft is long and formative and it had uh, an important milestone in the history of British aviation. Although uh, the particular history of this aircraft is uh, rather fraught and it is remarkable that it even survived it being prepared to carry out a lasting heritage, one hopes, and a living memorial for the whole nation. Originally built in 1934 as a small airliner, it was a private venture by the Bristol Aircraft Company. Uh, the aircraft was funded by Lord Rothermere, named the Spirit of Britain. It was presented to the nation and after modification as a bomber, it became the first stress-skinned aircraft accepted by the Royal Air and a full-time licensed engineer, made his first flight in May 1987, but was tragically wrecked only four weeks after its return to the air. The restoration team, however, were not uh, daunted by this, and they were determined that after all that effort, that a Blenheim would fly again, and a decision was made to resurrect another Blenheim project. largely undertaken by the same volunteer force. This aircraft became once again internationally known as the only flying example of an early war or an Air Force light bomber. One of only two British World War II bombers flying, the Lancaster and the Battle of Britain Memorial flights being the other. Of course, there is one other Lancaster based across in Canada, which we had the pleasure of seeing a few years ago on its tour of Europe. The second project, however, was not without uh, difficulties. And in August uh, 2003, uh, significant damage uh, occurred.